Good day everyone, this is Teacher Cherry. In this video, we will learn about proving the mid-segment theorem of trapezoid. We will prove the mid-segment theorem of trapezoid and solve problems related to mid-segment theorem of trapezoid. Before we prove, alamin muna natin ang definition ng trapezoid. What is a trapezoid? A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. So we have here quadrilateral M A T H. There is exactly one pair of parallel sides. Ang parallel sides natin ay line segment MA at saka line segment HT. So we have line segment MA is parallel to line segment HT. Meron din tayong tinatawag na bases ng trapezoid. Ang bases ng trapezoid ay yung mga parallel sides. Since line segment MA and line segment HT are the parallel sides, they are called bases. Meron din tayong tinatawag na legs of trapezoid. Ang legs naman ay ito yung mga non-parallel sides. Ang non-parallel sides natin are line segment MH at saka line segment AT. And then, meron din tayong tinatawag na base angles. Base angles are referred to as angles created by a base and a leg. So, we have base angle M. So, this is base angle M. So, this is an angle created by a base MA at saka a leg MH. Another base angle is angle A. And then, we have also angle T, base angle, at saka angle H is also base angle. So, dapat ay familiar tayo sa mga bases, legs, at saka base angles of trapezoid. Let us now proceed to the mid-segment theorem of trapezoid. In trapezoid, mayroon tayong tinatawag na median. Ang median ay yung segment that joins the midpoints of a trapezoid's legs. So, ma-encounter natin yung median. So, what is the mid-segment theorem of trapezoid? Mid-segment theorem of trapezoid states that the median of a trapezoid is parallel to each base and its length is one half of the sum of the lengths of the bases. Para mas maunawaan natin, let us prove this theorem. So, this is the mid-segment theorem of trapezoid. So, let's have an example to prove this theorem. Our given is trapezoid EFGH with median line segment IJ. Prove that line segment IJ is parallel to line segment FG. Line segment IJ is parallel to line segment EH. And line segment AJ is equal to one half the sum of the line segment EH and line segment FG. This is the figure. So we have trapezoid E. F, G, H. Ang median niya is I, J. So, ang median, ito yung segment na nagjo-joint sa midpoints ng legs ng trapezoid. So, legs natin ay F, E at saka G, H. Yung I is the midpoint of line segment F, E. Yung J is the midpoint of line segment G, H. Kapag pinagdugtong natin or ginoin natin yung kanilang midpoints. So, ang mabubuo is the median. Okay, let us prove. To prove, let us have the two-column proof for the first column. 
are the statements and for the second column are the reasons. So, for number one, ang reason is given. So, let us copy the given. For statement number one, trapezoid EFGH with median line segment IJ. Statement number two, we will draw line segment FH with K as its midpoint. We have here line segment FH, so ang K is the midpoint. Our reason is by line postulate. Ano yung line postulate? Ang line postulate states that any two points, there is exactly one line. So, since meron tayong point F at saka point H, so, there is exactly one line. Proceed tayo sa statement number 3. We have line segment IK is equal to one half of line segment EH and line segment IK is parallel to line segment EH. So, Tignan natin yung line segment IK. This is line segment IK. One half siya ng line segment EH at the same time parallel sa EH. So, ang reason natin is the midline theorem. So, we have here triangle FEH. IK is the mid segment. So, parallel siya dito sa third side. And then, one half ng EH ang IK. For statement number 4, we have the reason midline theorem on triangle FGH. So, this is our triangle FGH. So, ang midline theorem states that yung mid-segment natin na KJ ay equal siya sa one half ng line segment FG. And, Line segment KG is parallel to line segment FG. For statement number 5, we have line segment EH is parallel to line segment FG. So, this is our line segment EH. It is parallel to line segment FG. So, the reason is by the definition of Trapezoid. So, ang given natin kanina ay trapezoid EFGH. Ang definition ng trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. So, ito yung one pair of parallel sides natin. For statement number 6, line segment IK is parallel to line segment FG. This is line segment IK. It is parallel to line segment FG. The reason is by the definition of parallel. So, ang definition ng parallel, lines that never meet and they have the same distance apart. For number 7, we have line segment IK and line segment KJ are both parallel to line segment IK and parallel to line segment FG. Thus, point I, K, and J are collinear. So, this is our line segment IK and this is line segment KJ. So, parallel sila sa IK at saka sa FG. Kaya, ang IKJ are collinear. Ang ibig sabihin ng collinear, points lying on the same line. So, ang ating magiging reason is by the definition of parallel. Or, yung ating line segment IK and line segment KJ are either parallel or the same line. So, IK and KJ is the same line. For our statement number 8, line segment IJ is equal to line segment IK plus line segment KJ. So, we have here IJ, line segment IJ is equal to line segment IK plus KJ by the 
segment addition postulate. So, yung K is the midpoint. So, yung IK plus KJ ay equal siya sa IJ. For statement number 9, so, ang reason is by substitution. So, we have here statement number 3, statement number 4, at saka statement number 8. So, IJ is equal to IK plus KJ. So, yung IJ ay kokopyahin lang natin. Yung IK ay sasubstitute natin ng 1 half times line segment EH. At yung KJ sasubstitute natin ng 1 half times line segment FG. Therefore, our statement now is line segment, AG, line segment IJ is equal to 1 half times EH plus 1 half times FG. For number 10, we have IJ, line segment IJ is equal to 1 half the sum of line segment EH at line segment FG by the distributive property of equality. So, ang kanilang factor ay 1 half. So, we have here 1 half. And then, minultiply natin sila dito sa another factors which are EH plus FG. So, by the distributive property of equality. So, na-prove na natin yung ating theorem. So, remember, yung IJ which is the median Ang measure ng IJ ay 1 half of the sum of line segment EH at saka line segment FG. Okay, so let us now apply this theorem in solving problems. Okay, so let us solve. Given quadrilateral MATH is a trapezoid with median line segment ES. This is our figure. We have trapezoid MATH with median line segment ES. For number 1, we have if line segment MA equals 15 and line segment HT equals 25, find line segment ES. So, ang hinahanap ay yung ating median given yung measure ng mga bases. Let's apply the mid-segment theorem of trapezoid. So, for our solution, median line segment ES ay equal sa 1 half ng sum ng line segment MA at line segment HT. Ang gagawin lang natin, substitute lang natin yung mga given value sa ating equation. We have line segment ES equals 1 half times the sum of, ang line segment MA is 15 while line segment HT is 25. And then we will now add 15 and 25. 15 plus 25 is equal to 40. And then, times 1 half or 40 divided by 2 is 20. Therefore, ang line segment ES I equal sa 20. Let's solve another problem. Given pa rin yung quadrilateral MATH na merong median na ES. If line segment ES equals 8 and line segment HT equals 12, what is the measure of line segment MA? So, ang may given tayo, yung value ng median at saka isang value ng base. So, ang hinahanap is the measure of line segment MA. So, gamitin pa rin natin yung theorem. Median ES ay equal sa 1 half the sum of bases. So, let's substitute the given values. Ang line segment ES is 8 equals 1 half of line segment MA plus ang line segment HT natin is 12. And then after that, yung 2 i-multiply natin, cross-multiply dito sa 8. 
So, we have 16 equals MA, line segment MA plus 12. Para makuha yung line segment MA, subtract natin both sides by 12. So, 16 minus 12 is 4. And then, MA plus 12 minus 12 is equal to line segment MA. Therefore, our line segment MA is equal to 4. Okay, so, na-prove na natin yung mid-segment theorem and na-solve natin yung problems involving this mid-segment theorem of trapezoid. For our next video, we will learn about the theorems on isosceles trapezoid. So, keep on watching.